I always felt like I was just part of the crew. I always felt like it was such a tremendous honor, uh, not being white, but just period. It was such a huge honor to, you know, represent my city or to be a part of the Swisher House or any of those type of things. So I was all, you know, that's why, I, that's why I'm never, you know, I might have my chest out a little bit inside, but, you know, I'm always very, uh, yeah, I'm just grateful. I'm just so grateful that this is, you know, a reality that has came to be that I never, never, ever dreamed that it was even a possibility. So it was even at those times I remember, you know, we'd get pulled over by the police and they'd be like, is he white or is he like from Louisiana, Creole, or is he a Frenchman or is he Mexican or is he mixed? What is, you know, and that's how I, you know, I, I remember leaving Chaka Town one time getting pulled over and going through that and it would be a regular thing when we'd get pulled over. It'd be, is he white or what, you know? Uh, and they wouldn't ask me. They'd ask everybody else in the car. And they'd be like, every time I get back, like, no yeah, me. like, what's going on here? <laughs> oh, man. Man, what's going on, man? And, man, well, next time you interview Kameen, ask him. Because, man, he would be in the car, and he'd be like, why are y'all asking me, is he white? Like, what? And we kid, we're kids. Same way there was that confusion by the police when we get pulled over, which I don't know why it would even matter. <laughs> but but it's the, it, it was always that same confusion kind of as a, a, a Swisher House rapper. Also, in the Swisher House pre-internet, you didn't know what anybody was. So when you hear that one of a, oh, one of those guys was white, you're like, well, well which one? Uh, you know, they, they wouldn't really know. But, you know, people would always, Mexican people would claim me as being Mexican. People from Louisiana would claim me as being from Louisiana. Mixed people would claim me as being mixed. Light-skinned people would claim me as, oh, he's just light-skinned. So any, you know, I, I always, for whatever reason, people, even as a child, I always had, like, high cheekbones. So people always, for whatever reason, thought I was Asian at a young age, too. <laughs> like, they'd be like, hey, you Asian? Like, nah, why you, I don't I don't know. But, no but yeah, so, so people would always, you know, they would claim me as their own, whatever it was, and I, I'm just happy to be here. You know what I'm saying? So... It would, man, it would, I, I might have, I mean, maybe broken down some type of barriers, but that was never my goal or yeah. purpose or any of that. It was always yeah. trying to represent Houston. I'm trying to represent the culture, represent all of this to the utmost and not let my, you know, heroes down. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm trying not to let little Kiki and Slim Thug down, you know? So that's what it has always been for me.